Matthew chapter 19. Jesus instructs concerning divorce. As events happened, when Jesus concluded his instructions, he left Galilee and proceeded to the land of Judea, past the Jordan River. And huge crowds thronged after him, and he cured them on the spot. The Pharisees also approached Jesus, trying him by asking, Is it lawful for a person to divorce his spouse for whatever reason he pleases? And Jesus replied and told them, Have you not studied the sacred writings that say that in the beginning God made humankind male and female? And said, For this reason a person shall depart from his parents and be united to his spouse and both shall become one flesh. So they are not two persons anymore, but surely one. And thus, what God has put together, let no one put asunder. And the Pharisees asked Jesus, so why did Moses order that a man should give his spouse a divorce certificate and dismiss her? Jesus replied them, Moses granted you the authority to divorce your spouses because it is extremely difficult to instruct you. But this was not the way in the beginning. And I tell you now, anyone who divorces his spouse, except there is obvious sexual depravity, commits adultery if he marries again another woman. And the followers of Jesus told him, if this is the way things are between a person and his spouse, it is more advantageous to avoid marrying. Better to continue without his spouse. Jesus replied then, the instruction, this instruction does not apply to all humanity, but specifically those to whom it has already been granted. For there are a variety of reasons why people are unable to marry. There are people who were born like that. There are people also who were made like that by other people. And there are yet others who, may, who abstain and do not marry for the sake of the monarchy of heaven. Now anyone who can accept this instruction should wisely do so. Many people took their little children to Jesus, that he might lay his hands on them and bless them. But when his followers saw this, they reproved the people. But Jesus invited the infants to him, saying, Let the little children approach me, and do not turn them back. For the monarchy of heaven belongs to little ones like these. Jesus laid his hands on the children and blessed them, and then he left that place. Once, a man approached Jesus and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do now to have everlasting life? And Jesus asked him, Why do you address me as good? No man is good. Only God alone is good. If you wish to have uh, come into eternal life, follow the rules, God's commandments. And he asked Jesus, Which rules? Jesus replied him, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not rob. You shall not slander. Honor your parents, father and mother, and love and cherish your neighbor, even as yourself. The young man answered, All these rules I have followed from my youth. What precisely am I lacking? And Jesus told him, If you wish to be perfect, go and sell all your wealth and resources and give the proceeds as charity to the poor and you will possess great affluence in paradise then you may come and follow me but when the young man heard and considered these words he was filled with sadness for he was quite wealthy now jesus told his followers truly i tell you it is extremely difficult for people who are affluent to enter the monarchy of heaven. Once more I tell you, it is much more difficult for an affluent person to go into the monarchy of the Lord God than for a camel to go through a needle's eye. 
When his followers heard this, they were absolutely astonished. And they asked Jesus, who then is able to be saved? But Jesus looked directly at them and replied, with humankind, this is basically impossible. But with God, everything is possible. Then Peter said, look, we have abandoned everything and followed you. So what shall we obtain? And Jesus told them, surely I tell you now, in the new era, when the Son of Man will be seated on the throne of his splendor and majesty, you apostles of mine will likewise be seated on twelve thrones, presiding and reigning over the twelve tribes of Israel. And every person who has abandoned homes or siblings, brothers or sisters, or parents, father or mother, or spouse or offspring or properties because of me will obtain a hundredfold and will be granted everlasting life. But many people who are first at present will be last in the end. And many people who are last at present will be first in the end. 